Good afternoon, everybody. We have just completed a briefing with the modified uh, unified command group uh, from the state, along with the National Weather Service. Uh, we do have uh, FEMA embedded with us as well today. Uh, currently, all state are, all state agencies are engaged, as well as partners such as the Red Cross and the Salvation Army. Uh, for starters, people should know that the storm, the storm system moving across Louisiana is just getting started. By no means is it over or close to getting over. And it is an extremely dangerous weather event. Uh, please do not attempt to go outside if you don't have to. We ask that everyone stay off the roads. A car is no place to shelter. And it's not just cars, very large trucks, mobile homes, any type of vehicle uh, has the potential to be very unsafe uh, for the remainder of this event. If you are on the roads, please do not drive through high standing water. If you account, encounter weather on the road, please seek hardened shelter such as an overpass or stop and go inside a convenience store. The National Weather Service has issued a high risk alert for central and north Louisiana. This is the highest level of warning that the National Weather Service issues. It is an extremely rare classification and means that the state could very well experience extremely high winds, tornadoes, hail, and flooding, just to name a few perils. At least two tornadoes have been reported in the state. They are as yet unconfirmed, and they are both in Rapides Parish. But whether tornadic or not, uh, straight line wind speeds could reach 70 to 80 miles per hour in this weather event. And that is the same wind speed as you would expect with a category two hurricane. These perils, uh, whether they're flash flooding, uh, tornadoes, straight line winds, hail, they will occur generally in front of the squall line that is currently moving east to west across Louisiana, but they could be in the squall line itself. So everyone needs to remain alert throughout the event. It's not just central and north Louisiana, however. The southern portion of the state remains under a moderate and enhanced risk for severe weather as well. So keep in mind that these two threat levels alone put the state as a whole on high alert. And I'll say that a little differently. This is a statewide weather event. And this information that we're putting out right now in this briefing pertains to everybody in the state of Louisiana. Moreover, it's likely to be an all night event. We don't expect the weather system to leave the state of Louisiana until sometime tomorrow mid morning. It is critically important that everyone be prepared, stay informed and take the necessary precautions. In the event of a tornado, remember to have your plan get to the first floor of your house, find an interior room to take shelter in, preferably a bathroom, stay away from windows, and check on elderly family members and neighbors to make sure that they are prepared. Leave your mobile phones charged and on tonight and close to you this evening. The National Weather Service has the ability to send alerts to your mobile phone based on your location. This is a great source of timely and accurate warnings to give you the opportunity to move inside of your home as you need to, to take advantage of that interior first floor room. Again, hopefully a bathroom. Please be cautious about any down power lines. Do not drive over power lines that are on the ground. If a power line falls on your vehicle, remain in your car until help arrives. If you live in a mobile home in the areas that are expecting this activity or after you uh, understand exactly what's going on this evening, we would ask you to go stay with a friend or a relative who does not live in a mobile home if that is a possibility. Mobile homes are extremely dangerous during high wind events, whether they be tornadoes or straight line wind events. And in fact, there are already two confirmed deaths today from St. Martin Parish and Bro Bridge from a straight line wind event 
that uh, caused a mobile home uh, to turn over. We have activated the Emergency Operations Center here at the Governor's Office of Homeland Security and Emergency Preparedness, and it will remain fully activated. We are in touch with all parish Office of Emergency Preparedness officials throughout the state, and will provide the necessary assistance from this storm. Parishes will make an announcement regarding school and office closures if there are going to be any school or office closures tomorrow. The state is currently evaluating uh, closures and will make any announcements accordingly. Please monitor your local news for updates or visit gosep.la.gov, that's G-O-H-S-E-P dot L-A dot gov. And at this point in time, um, I will take any questions. Did you have them? I guess not. She's not here. Okay. I think well, one thing maybe you just kind of want to reiterate, um, you know, especially you mentioned the, uh, the people who, who might have passed away earlier today because they were in, in the trailer. If you could just kind of reiterate and talk about how important it is for people to, to evacuate um, well, and not stay in those long Well, you, th don't unnecessarily stay in, in a trailer, uh, a mobile home, or, in, or a travel trailer, or any other kind of trailer uh, if you're have the ability to stay with a relative or a friend or a neighbor uh, who has a, a more secure, more sturdy uh, place for you to ride this storm out. This is a very significant storm event. Um, these uh, forecasts of this nature occur very infrequently across the country each year. And we don't know that there's ever been a time in the state of Louisiana where this particular uh, forecast has ever been issued for so much of the state of Louisiana to be at high risk of severe weather. Again, we're looking at possible tornadic activity, uh, flooding, uh, we're looking at hail, and in fact uh, up to two inch hail is, is falling as we speak uh, in Repeats Parish uh, as well. But it doesn't take a tornado to cause extensive damage, uh, injuries, or death. Uh, straight line force winds are anticipated to reach uh, between 70 and 80 miles per hour in many areas uh, and so associated with this storm event. And again, that's category two type winds uh, if you want to measure it uh, as if it were a hurricane. Uh, we know that it was straight line force winds today that, that caused two fatalities in St. Martin Parish. So this is a very serious weather event and it deserves all of our attention uh, and that we need to make sure that we're not just um, casual about it, but that we're paying attention, that we heed warnings, uh, and that we lose no time if, if there's a, an actual warning that, for example, that comes through the phone, that a tornado is in your area, uh, that you move down into a uh, first floor room, interior room, and again, hopefully a, a bathroom. I can tell you from experience on February the 7th, with the strongest tornado ever to touch down in New Orleans, uh, that damaged 800 structures uh, three of them were totally destroyed or had high uh, levels of damage. Nobody was killed, and people told me over and over, the phone is what made the difference. So I'm asking everybody to leave your phones on tonight, keep them charged, and keep them close to you uh, at all times throughout the night, uh, and, and stay home uh, and don't go out uh, to survey any damage on your own. You're just going to put your own life at risk potentially and you're gonna cause first responders potentially to put their life at risk unnecessarily. Any other questions? One more thing, because it, I guess the threat is so high, is there like a state of emergency right now? Or? No, there, there is not a state of emergency. Uh, we, are, we are continuing to evaluate whether one is necessary. We don't think one is required uh, at the moment, and, and should that change, we will issue it, and, and we will give you all a heads up as soon as that happens. And for the people who are still displaced by not only the flood, but the hurricane, or I'm sorry, the tornado from February 7th, um, and they may be living in trailers outside their homes, what advice do you have for them? Well, I have the same advice. If, if they have the ability uh, to, to stay the night with a friend, relative, or neighbor who has uh, a home that is not obviously a trailer or a mobile home, that they should take advantage of that. Um, and that's not gonna be possible uh, for everyone, and we clearly understand that. 
we would also ask that you make the decision sooner rather than later so that you're not getting that alert on your phone and deciding at that point in time uh, to gather up yourself and your relatives and, and, and uh, family members and, and try to move. It really is too late at that point in time. Well, look, I want to thank you all for being here. Uh, as the situation warrants, there will be further updates, and we will make sure that we get that out to you in a timely fashion. Mayor Broom is here right now, so she can answer any questions you guys have specifically about what's going on in the Baton Rouge area. So we'll bring her in in just a second. Thanks, thanks for coming. Oh, appreciate y'all coming out. Have you seen it for her? I don't know. I'm sorry. I texted her and asked him.